So the game I'm playing today is called Horizon Chase Turbo. This is an arcade style racing game that takes a lot of inspiration from old school racers from the late 80s and early 90s, including but not limited to OutRun. In terms of early 90s racers, it definitely takes inspiration from games like Virtua Racing and Daytona USA. The aesthetic of this game is very reminiscent of those kinds of games. And by that I mean it's very similar to what you would find in those kinds of games. It has a very minimalist aesthetic, and I don't believe the game uses textures at all. It's just flat, shaded polygons, basically. Just like the good old arcade racers of yesteryear. And I don't really know anything else about the game beyond that, because I did not play this all that much off-screen. I think I only did like one race when I was playing this game off-screen, and I wanted to play it off-screen just to make sure that it worked properly. <laughs> and thankfully it does. This is a game that I had been looking at for a little while now. I do feel like it has been a little while since I last covered a racing game on my channel, which is also the reason why I wanted to play this today. And this is not a game that I purchased. This is actually another game that I managed to receive for free through the Epic Game Store. There was a point, I think a couple of months ago, when this game went free to keep on the Epic Store for an entire week. I think that happened sometime back in either October or November of last year. I say last year, even though it was technically this year, because again, for those of you watching this in the future, I'm actually still technically recording this video in 2021. A lot of the videos that you'll be seeing in January of 2022 are actually going to be videos that I technically recorded the month prior trying to basically stockpile on some videos, so that way I'll have, uh, I'll have some videos that are already prepared to go live for the first few days of 2022 at least. But yeah, I did get this game for free through the Epic Store. I do believe the game normally costs about $20, but this game usually goes on sale for a pretty heavy discount. I think usually when it goes on sale nowadays, it goes for like 75% off. I think the game is currently on sale for only $5 on Steam at least. It may also be $5 on the Epic Store right now. But yeah, I don't know too much else about this game other than that. All I really know is that it's a very fast-paced arcade-style racer, and I'm excited to play it, so I think I am just going to go and play it. It seems like everything else in the game is locked except for campaigns, so I am going to go to the campaigns for now. So you have a bunch of different campaigns here, I've noticed. You have the World Tour, which I believe is the default campaign. You also have a campaign called Senna Forever, which I believe came out in 2021. Uh, this is a brand new campaign that I believe is inspired by Formula One racing of the early 90s specifically. But you need to actually purchase this DLC, and I did not actually purchase it yet, so... I don't believe I'll be showing this off in this video, but I just want to let you know that it's there. There's also the Rookie series, which is apparently free DLC. I may show that off near the end of the video, perhaps. There's also Summer Vibes, which is pretty much a DLC that's based entirely off of OutRun, or like heavily inspired by it. And this coming soon thing, I don't exactly know what this is, but I don't know if maybe the developers are planning to release another DLC pack for the game? I have no idea. But for now, we're gonna go to World Tour. The only place we can go to right now is California, so let's freaking go to California then. Let's go and do it. Yeah, so there's already one race here in San Francisco that I already completed. It seems like there's three other locations that we have to complete races in. Uh, there's San Francisco, but there's also Sequoia National Park. There's also Los Angeles. And you need 400 tokens to upgrade the race. I don't exactly know what that means, but I do believe for now we are going to go to San Francisco. This is the track that I already completed off screen, Grass Hills. But I do believe this is the first track we are going to play in this video here. We have 35 cars in the game in total, only three of which are currently unlocked to us, including this, uh, yeah, the driving school car right here. We have the cruiser for a nice ride at the beach, infinity, dust eating tends to zero, rookie, please be patient, student driver. So it seems like all the cars have different, uh, yeah, their own different statistics, like you have fuel, you have handling, nitro, apparently the 
the school driver car has more fuel than any of these vehicles, apparently, which is interesting. 5.8 seconds to 100 kilometers per hour. Still has a pretty decent top speed, though. 4.5 handling, 4.0 handling. That's clearly a Dodge Viper. 2.9. I think this is the Ferrari right here. Let's just go with uh, this vehicle for now, because this was the one that I did use off screen. All right, we're in San Francisco Grass Hills. Yeah, so you'll see that... Uh, the aesthetic of this game is very much inspired by, like, old-school arcade racers. I mean, this definitely looks a lot more like Virtua Racing or Daytona USA than it does OutRun, because I believe the graphics in OutRun were comprised entirely of pixels. So, the objective of all these races, as with pretty much every racing game that's ever been created, is to try and get first place here. But you do have to uh, tend with, like, 19 other drivers here. Yeah, that's just my ghost car, by the way. That's from the previous run that I did of this game off screen. So there's also these blue tokens that you can acquire, which I do believe you can use to, uh, well, upgrade the race, as it said before. I don't know if you can also use those tokens to buy upgrades for your car. I do believe you can. I think there's, like, additional upgrades you can get for all your vehicles here. So in order to unlock the other races, I don't believe you actually need to get in first place, but I do think you need to, to get a fairly decent ranking in order to unlock the next uh, couple of races here. Also, make sure that your fuel doesn't run out either, because uh, I do believe you can run out of fuel eventually. Thankfully, there are those gas canisters that are littered across the track that you can pick up in order to get more fuel. So that's always good. That's always fine and dandy. Oh god. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna try and go to, like, the outer lane so I can pass this guy here. I do believe you can hold down the control key in order to drift. And I did get all the tokens as well that are on the track. There we go. I think I'm gonna get... Well, if I can actually pass this guy right here. There we go. Well, I don't know. I can also use nitrous by pressing spacebar. Oh, please. Oh my god. By the skin of my teeth, dude. Holy crap. We actually got first place. I did a lot better that time. Holy frick. Okay. Okay. A minute and 41.06 seconds. Yeah, beat him by four one-hundredths of a second. That's what I like to see. That's the kind of photo finish that I would like to see. My goodness, there we go. Maximum fuel, got the super trophy. Oh yeah, those are all of the, uh... Those are all the tokens I can actually get from this first race here. Get first place, find all tokens to earn a super trophy. Oh, I actually did get that, holy crap. Okay then. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so that's one of those very rare instances where I actually did a lot better while I was recording. <laughs> Funny how those things work out sometimes. All right, the next racetrack here is called Rocky Road. I, I am going to try out a different vehicle this time. Yeah, no upgrades installed. I can probably get additional upgrades later on, though. I'm not going to really worry too much about that for now, though. I'm not even sure how many tracks I'm going to be playing in this video. I probably won't be playing this for too long, though, just because I don't really want to pad this video out all too much. Oh, there we go. I got, the I got like, the jump start, which I completely screwed up because I ran into the back of that guy's truck. Or not his truck. That's, uh, the back of his vehicle. Whatever, whatever the heck this is. Okay, there's a lot of, like, octahedrons that I see. Okay, yeah, a lot of, a lot of very simple geometric shapes here. Looks very old school, very 90s. I, I like that nice, uh... Actually, I just realized something about the backgrounds. The backgrounds are, are completely two-dimensional, I just noticed. Yeah, it's like... That's really cool, though, because it's like... Uh, the environments themselves are in 3D, but the backgrounds are in 2D, like a 2D pixel art aesthetic. That's actually pretty damn cool. I also noticed that there's rocks on the track. So I think it would be best if we just uh, avoided them altogether. Oh god. Okay, yeah, that's that's the card that I was using before. Okay, yeah, you, you just get out of my way, please. Oh god, okay. So I, I do know that if you run into the science, you will spin out. I don't think your car comes to a complete stop if you crash into stuff in this game, though. I don't believe it does. There we go. Just get some gas canisters in the meantime. There we go. Just gotta, gotta hold down control. I don't know if I can get, like, a, a much bigger drift going. That's a fairly... That seems like a fairly weak drift right here. It's a tiny baby drift. I just want to try and go into a full power slide if I possibly can. Maybe that involves... Maybe I have to, like, break first and then I can do it. I have no freaking idea. Doesn't really matter all too much because we're about to... We're about to finish the race anyway. Here, I'm just going to use more, more turbos here. Just to try and get a slightly better... Oh god, try to get a slightly better uh, position here if I possibly can. Try catching up to this guy here. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Let's do it. Oh my god, I pushed him ahead. Damn it. Okay, well, there we go. I don't know why the, the game froze there for a moment, but 
Uh, second place is not bad. It's not the best, but, you know, it's, it's better than nothing. I'll take it for now, then. Yeah, I, I got almost all the tokens. I don't know where exactly I missed a token. But, okay, 107 out of 130, plus 9, 246. Yeah, we can, we can come back and get better scores on some of these tracks. That's totally fine. That's okay for now. Yeah, we can unlock new cars, cups, and races. Oh, as a matter of fact, I need a bigger garage completed. Okay, I, I'm assuming that's an achievement. I do believe... Yeah, the Epic Game Store actually has achievements now. I f totally forgot about that. Yeah, about freaking time. Okay, but I do have another... I do have a new car, though. Bliss, it's called? All right, then. Well, let's check out the final race here. This is four laps, though. And I, I also did not see what that... Uh, what the actual name of the track was called. Okay, well, whatever. Bliss, a modern miracle. I have no idea what, what car this is modeled after. I don't know too much about sports cars, okay? Just, just bear with me here, all right? I don't really care too much anyway. I'm just here to race, dude. I'm here to race. Okay, this is just called Sunset. Yeah, I love how everything is just made out of flat-shaded polygons. Okay, don't mess up the start again, because I got the boost. I got the starting boost, just like in Mario Kart. Very nice. That's how you notice an arcade game. Oh, you press the down arrow to break. Okay, hang on. Whoa, hang on. We're, we're racing on dirt here. Okay, let's go freaking rallying, boys. Rally car time. Even though these are not freaking rally cars at all. Oh god, get out of my way. There we go. Bump him out of the way. Do a little bit of bumping and grinding, like good old NASCAR. Oh frick. Okay, yeah, we're going really damn fast here. What is that? Okay, I got another nitrous, I think. Why did it why did it turn purple there for a moment? I have I have no freaking idea. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Well well I I can't tell. Is that causing me to go into a bigger power slide? I have no idea, but everything's moving really fast. I know that for a fact. Everything's moving seriously fast in this freaking track. Okay, I, I th think I'm doing good right now. Yeah, sixth place. There we go. Go to this. Go to this other side. Do I get a bonus for not using my nitrous at all? I actually have no freaking idea. Damn it! See, when you bump into the back of them, it slows your it slows yourself down a lot, but it speeds them up pretty significantly. I still feel like I'm doing pretty well right now, though. I am in second. Okay, well, just to try and maintain my lead, maybe I could try and use a nitrous right now, perhaps? Not only that, so I can also catch up to that other guy. Wait, am I- am I actually lapping some people down? Oh, frick, you can actually lap people down. I did not know you could do that. Oh my god, I'm getting- I'm getting pushed around, man. I'm getting bullied. Oh god, okay, wow, I just narrowly avoided that guy. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm just lapping everyone now. We're going so freaking fast. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, I think it's fair to say that I won this this track because, wow. Got like a massive lead there near the end. Okay, very nice. I don't think I got all of the uh, all the tokens, though. I think I'm missing uh, a few of them in certain places. Yeah, I only got 14 that time. 7 fuel, 134 at 140. I mean, that's still not bad, though. Yeah, 134, 387... That's still pretty good, I would say. Finish all tournaments of a category in first place to unlock new cars. Okay, well, I'm not going to focus too much on unlocking new cars, okay? I'm not going to try and focus too much on that. I'm just here to focus on, like, beating the races. So that being said, let's go to Sequoia National Park next. Indeed. Oh, there's only two races that we do here. Okay, wait, get fifth or better in the previous race to unlock. Okay, so this is Morning Walk. Okay, let's go to Morning Walk then. Uh, I mean... You know what? I, I do actually want to try the, the rookie car here just to see how well this performs. I'm actually very curious as to how this performs in an actual race here. Let's do it. Morning Walk, Sequoia National Park. Oh god, it's all foggy here though. Uh, what? in the world was that? I had, like, some sort of shield there for a minute. I don't know what that was. Oh, okay, well, I guess the rookie car is pretty good because we're already in 11th? Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we do- we do still have the nitrous here as well. How in the world is this- this freaking- th this tiny little vehicle, this nimble little vehicle somehow faster than, like, half the- half the cars in the pack here? Okay, don't run into the tree is whatever you do. Oh, we're racing on concrete? Oh god. How well can this thing drift, though? That's the true question. Is it a good drifter? Well, I couldn't tell there because I ran into someone. Okay, doesn't seem like there's any damage here in this game. You don't take damage from driving into anything or bumping into anything. There we go, come on. Nice. Oh god, okay, somehow I got stuck on the back of that guy's vehicle. 
Yeah, I think I think the only issue with this vehicle here is the acceleration. The acceleration is a little... Yeah, it's lacking. It's lackluster, to say the least. Nothing we can't deal with, though. As a matter of fact, we just passed the cars right there. Very nice. We're in fifth place now. I also really like the way that the game draws all of the objects in. It's like all of the objects grow as you get closer to them. That actually looks really cool. It's like a really interesting solution to, like, you know, draw distance. That's pretty freaking neat. If I do say so myself, or at least I think it's neat. Yeah, I'm surprised at how well I'm actually doing with this, uh, with this training vehicle right here. Yeah, the driving school vehicle. I'm already in second place, dude. Oh my god, I can probably win. I can probably win this if I just pass this guy correctly and don't bump into him. Well, I mean, I did bump into him, but whatever. I think I, I think I slowed him down enough that I'm able to get a, a somewhat decent lead on him. As long as I don't run into the freaking, the freaking rocks, then we'll be fine. There we go. I actually won a freaking race with the training car. Holy crap, okay. Don't count the training car out. Yeah, do not underestimate the power of the training car. Very good indeed, okay. Not bad, not a bad performance whatsoever. 112 out of 115. Yeah, I think those are like the bonus points for getting more fuel. Okay, 500, so I mean, I can, I can upgrade the other race, but I don't, <laughs> I still don't know what exactly that means though, but I guess we'll, we'll figure it out sooner than later. Oh, Upgrade Race Death Valley. Oh, finish third in Upgrade Races to upgrade all your cars. Oh, they get update upgraded automatically. Okay, well, I'll try that out in just a second. Because what I would like to do in the meantime is continue, uh, yeah, with this race into the woods. Let's just cycle back to the, the, the Ferrari. Sure, why the heck not? Let's see if I can hit this perfect start again here. Like, right around here, perhaps? Oh, yeah, I actually got it again, okay. I'm at least nailing down the timing on this. Oh my god, I'm not nailing down the turning, that's for sure. Okay, this is the weird corner that's kind of creating an optical illusion here. Alright, we're fine, we're out of it, we're out of it here. Okay, avoid the fences. Oh god, we're on the concrete again. Oh, that's a giant log in the way. Oh god. Okay, better, better avoid that. Holy crap. Okay, this is very narrow. Holy crap, I almost ran into like literally everything. Oh, this is a very short track, though. Okay, this this will probably be okay, then. This may be okay. Oh, did I get all the tokens already? Apparently, I did. All right. I was not really trying to get any of the tokens, honestly. I probably could have picked that up. Probably could have used that. Whatever, it's fine. It's totally okay. There we go. There we go. Hitting that corner a little bit better that time. Very nice. I'm trying to see if I can get a, a, a somewhat bigger drift going right here, but I, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Maybe I can't get a drift going. Maybe that's, like, the best I can do. This is like the best I can do. Oh lord! Okay, I came way too close for comfort that time. Holy crap. Okay, avoid the log. Avoid the log. Actually, the log's not over here. Oh god, okay, there we go. Avoided that guy. Okay, that was actually a really short race that time. It was a very short track. Okay, not bad. Got first place again. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. And I got all the, the tokens as well. I got a little bit of, like, a uh, bonus cash right here because of the fuel that I have. Okay, very nice. 640. Got the super trophy as well. Okay, I'm gonna check out that upgrade race in just a second, but let's go, let's go to Los Angeles first. Okay, five laps, big orange. It does seem like this is a fairly short track, though. Let's go with, uh, Infinity again. Sure, why not? I'll just keep cycling through all of the different vehicles that I currently have unlocked just so that I'm not using, like, the same vehicle over and over again. Yeah, I'm really nailing down these perfect starts right now. Can't believe it. Okay, this is this Hollywood. We're in Hollywood right now. Or Hollymood, as this game calls it. That's definitely a letter M. Okay, let's go then. Okay, I probably should have stayed in the center so I could have grabbed all of those. Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll circle back around to him. That's totally fine. This is a very narrow track, though, it seems. Oh god, there's there's stuff on the side as well, though, I just noticed. Oh, okay, there's a there's like a day and night cycle in this track as well. Yeah, it's, it's it's nighttime now. Okay, go- oh my goodness gracious, go to the left side. I believe there- all, all the other ones are on the left. Okay, we got headlights. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we have all of them. We've got all of them. Don't even worry about it. Got three laps remaining. Does seem like this is a fairly short track. The track itself is short, but maybe the race- the race may not be necessarily, like the race itself. Oh my god. Okay, fine then. Let's- let, let's just do this. Let's just do this. There we go. Third place. Yeah, like all the palm trees. I mean, even though the backgrounds are only two-dimensional, they're still really well detailed. I really do like how they move along with the, uh, 
Like, whenever you're turning, the background still, like, turns along with you. I still do very much like that. Oh my god, wait a second, I just realized, is that- is that literally the- the- the car from Initial D? I think that's the car from Initial D, guys. Alright, well, I need to figure out how to unlock that, like, uh, immediately, because, oh my god, I definitely want to try and use that. Pull off some- pull off some massive drifting. Alright, but that was another first place finish, though, so... There we go, I'll take it. Actually, I think that is a super trophy as well, because I got all the tokens. Yes, another super trophy. Very nice indeed. 115 points, plus some additional bonus points. Very nice. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I already unlocked another location on the world tour. Chili? Okay. Already got another country unlocked here, apparently. Okay, well, we're not gonna- we're not gonna stop just yet. Oh, wait, do we already- I unlocked a new game mode, Amateur Tournament, access it through the menu. And I also unlocked something else, oh great. We got the Playground Game Mode, access it through the menu. <laughs> okay, wait a second, dude. Hang on a minute. Okay. I appreciate the fact that I just unlocked a whole bunch of crap, but I want to continue, like, completing these races here. So just hold on to your ass cheeks, sir. Keep them clenched for the time being, because I would like to complete a couple more races here before I go and check all that stuff out. Driving at full speed may not be a good idea in sharp turns. Understandable. I'm gonna go with the driving school car again, because, I mean, I was very surprised by the performance of this tiny little vehicle in one of the previous races. So, friggin', let's just, just do it again. Let's go again. Ooh, this is cool, though. Got those nice neon lights. Very nice indeed. Oh, goodness. Okay, I am I am kind of drifting a little bit here. Yeah, see, the only, the only thing that I don't like about this vehicle is just the really slow, like acceleration. I don't know how I didn't, like, bump into that car over there. Yeah, so I guess- I guess those purple nitruses are just giving me, like, an additional nitrous. I think that's all that it's doing. Okay, I may need to put some of them to good use here, though, if I want to try and complete this particular track, but uh, I think I'm doing well so far. Okay, get rid- there we go. I- I got past the Ferrari without crashing into it. Very good. There we go. Much better to just pass the cars than to just crash right into them, because all that does is give them an advantage. There we go. Okay, fourth place. I, I don't know, like, which position I have to complete this in in order to actually unlock the next race, because I didn't bother looking. I think in the meantime, though, I will just use a nitrous right here just to try and catch up to this guy. There we go, very nice. Just overtook him. Overtook him so freaking quickly, holy crap. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're lapping people down again. Okay, we are in first. Oh wait, is this guy faster than I am? Uh-oh. That's not good. This guy may actually be, le like, legitimately faster than me. Okay, well, I, I need to keep him back. I need to use the nitrous then. I'm gonna have to use the nitrous to my advantage, okay? While avoiding all the people who are getting lapped. There we go. That's very nice. I think we won. Yeah, we won again. Holy crap, dude. Okay, yeah. I guess maybe to give myself an additional challenge, I could just keep using this car. But I mean, I'm doing well with this car right now. First place, got another super trophy because I got all the tokens. And a whole bunch of fuel. That's very good. Very good performances right here. 893 tokens right now. Very good. And we did actually get another new car unlocked. The Legend? Okay. Not entirely sure if that's like a BMW or something. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Okay, the last track here is called Asphalt and Sunshine. Alright, we'll go... I, I mean, I guess we'll try out the, the legend here. Sturdy ride. Okay, so handling, fuel... Actually, it has the same amount of fuel as Bliss. Okay, let's let's just take it. Let's take it for a, for a test drive, see how well it performs. Let's freaking do it then. Asphalt and sunshine going underneath the underneath the bridge here. Let's freaking do it. Okay, I did somehow nail the, uh, the... The good start, the perfect start. Even though, somehow, I still felt like I was accelerating fairly slowly. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Okay, hang on a second. Hold on a minute here. Okay, the sun's- the sun's coming back up. I don't know, I, does this also have really slow acceleration too? It kind of feels a little sluggish. Like, slightly. Oh god, okay. I'm missing all the freaking tokens here. I mean, I don't really care too much about getting the tokens, honestly. Like I said, I'm just- I'm just here to race, man. That's all I'm here to do. <laughs> there we go. I at least get these tokens at the very least, there we go. Least at the very least. Just- Have I mentioned that English is not my strong suit? I'm pretty sure I have mentioned that already, but just- just in case you've forgotten. Wow, I keep- I keep missing that freaking nitrous on the side here. Okay, at least get some of the tokens here, my god. Very nice, we're just- we're just out here in the desert now. Very nice. Looks very much like California. 
I mean, the car definitely feels sturdy. I'll at least, I'll at least give him that. And I, I do appreciate the fact that this, this road is so like wide as well. Gives me a lot of, a lot of space to move around here. Able to take turns a little bit more easily, and also able to overtake people more easily. But even so, I still cannot grab that freaking nitrous for the life of me. Actually, I, I'm only in third place right now. Where the heck is everyone else? Everyone else is so freaking far ahead of me. Wait, what in the world? I just realized that. Yeah, how you boys doing? Uh, uh, no, somebody, that, that, one of those cars was actually a lap down. Oh, is it this guy over here? Is it this guy who's in the lead? Probably is. Yes, he was. Okay, oh my god. Okay, fine then. We're just not gonna get the nitrous then, this race. Whatever. Who, who gives a crap? Who cares, man? I can probably still do it without any additional nitrous. Just watch. Just you watch. There we go. One last corner. I don't think I need to use the other one. Yeah, because that's the end. We still got first. Didn't need no additional stinking nitrous. Didn't even, didn't even need to use that much nitrous to begin with. Very good. Very good. First place. I think I only got only 16 tokens that time. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. We have over 1,000 tokens now. It's very good. All right. We're, we're going to try that upgrade race now then. Because I want to see what that is. I have to finish in third place or better. Yeah, we finished California. I only have four super trophies. Cars unlocked. Zero to one. Upgrade zero to one. Okay. Well, I do want to get the upgrade. You unlock the new upgrade race. Easter Island. Okay. Frick. We'll, we'll go check that out later. <laughs> All right, it's time for the upgrade race. I do want to check this out. Going to Death Valley. Six laps, but it's only 1.7 kilometers. Finish third or better to get an upgrade for all of your cars. Let's check it out. Six laps, a square-shaped track, and just race around. You know what? I'm getting my Dodge Viper for this. Why the heck not? I just... Not, not for any particular reason other than I just want to use it again. Why the heck not? Let's go. Let's do it. Get that perfect start. I fricked it up completely. Fantastic. Okay, good. Already off to an amazing start right here. I imagine I can probably just, like, try this again over and over, though, if I do end up, like, screwing it up for real. Oh, God. Okay, there's different types of terrain here, though. I really do like these, uh, these environments, though. I mean, these environments are definitely, definitely really well designed. I can at least, I can at least say that right now. Very good. I like, I like the design quite a bit. Okay, these guys all the way over here, though. These guys all the way in front of me. No siree, bro! Oh god, I thought I was gonna wipe out there for a minute. Okay, don't- oh, damn it, I was trying to go- I was trying to pass him. God, he gets so much acceleration from that. What the heck? Here, hit it. There we go, I'm at least in third. I have to at least get third. There we go, that's totally fine. We're already lapping people down. Okay, this guy in the sports car, the black sports car. Very nice, ow! Oh god, oh okay, he's crashing into everyone as well. Okay, you're, you're not as smart as you see him. You're not as smart as you seem. Okay, you're- as in, you're about as dumb as I am. Okay, good. That's good to know, at least. Two laps left. Okay, just remain in second. Hopefully. Hopefully we can remain in second. I only have, like, one nitrous left, but is this the guy? This is not the guy I need to pass. Oh, that's the guy that I need to pass over there. The guy in the yellow car. Oh, Jesus. Okay, nitrous, go. Okay, we're in first. We're in first. Let's keep going. Keep it on going. There we go, just need, like, a, a few more turns. There we go, go around the square. The square oval? The squoval? I'm just- am I just, like, making up words at this point? I've become so bad at speaking English that I'm just, like, l literally concocting words of my own right now. Holy crap, man. My brain is fried. Okay, well, we won that race. There we go, give me my upgrades, please. Uh, oh, we can choose an upgrade. Suspension, air intake, or exhaust. Speed and steering. Speed and nitro. Speed and acceleration. Okay, let's actually read this here quickly. Threaded body and aluminum spring plates were tested under extreme conditions to guarantee maximum stability at speed and responsiveness in corners. CFD optimized polyethylene airbox extends the power band of the engine and high performance air filter ensure turbulence free air from idle to full speed. Fully polished stainless steel, high precision laser cut flanges, large radius tube and valves provide Two routes for high gas exhaling speed, exhaling speed, and low back pressure. Okay, I can't even pronounce words correctly anymore, so... I don't know, maybe better steering is what I need. All of these are gonna give me additional speed. Well, I don't know, should I increase the acceleration? Because the acceleration on the, the, the driving school car is not great. But at the same time, I've won... Every single race I've tried with that vehicle has managed to get me in first. Or I've managed to finish first with it. Uh, just give me better steering for now, sure. Give me better steering. 
There we go. Pump my ride completed. Great. Thanks, Epic. Thanks for reminding me, dude. Okay, there we go. 83% complete already. Yes, pr this is probably the only other thing that I have to try and complete, because I need to get, like, uh, yeah, like a first place finish on some of the other races. Right, so with all that finish now... I wonder what exactly we, we can do here now. Okay, there's another card that I haven't unlocked, apparently. Um... Well, I, well, I mean, I already unlocked two cards, so how could there be... <laughs> how could there be no cards that I've unlocked? Okay, well, I mean, there is Chili. What is Chili all about? Atacama, Santiago... Oh, yeah, here's the other upgrade race, Easter Island. I mean, do I want to go just straight to this upgrade race before I do anything else? Frick it, you know what? We're doing it. Finish third or better? Oh, it's apparently raining in this, in this track. Ooh, okay... Well, I do have- wait, what is right- right control inspect? Oh, I, oh, oh, I see. One of 12 upgrades installed- wait, so can I have multiple upgrades installed here, or- I don't even know. Okay, whatever. Get the bliss. Get the bliss. Let's go. Let's freaking do it. Is it actually raining in this track? Let's see here. Not right now, but it probably is gonna change. Alright, let's rock and roll. Let's do it. Okay, let's- let's race around Easter Island. Already this terrain is bizarre. Okay. Let's- let's freaking do it. Also, this- this does give me the opportunity to test out my upgrades just to see if it's actually, like... If it actually does anything. Oh my god, that guy just did a 360. Okay, yeah. So, I- I did notice that my, uh... Thanks for the speed boost, by the way. Yeah, I did notice that my- my... My top speed has increased slightly, because I did see it go to 218. Ow. Okay, well... At least, well, now you know what happens when you crash into objects. Holy frick, I'm just barrel rolling through the air. Okay. Yeah, so this is like one of those old-school arcade games where crashing into stuff does not slow you down all that much. You still get kind of, like, like forced along even when you do, like, collide with something. Okay, here we go. Oh god, we need to- we need to finish in third, though, it said. Okay, well, we need to pick up the damn pace because we're only in sixth and we're already on the second lap. Okay, let's go. Let's friggin' go, then. Oh god, wait, I- I need fuel. I need some friggin' fuel, though. I'm already running out of fuel. Oh god. Well, I'm already in fourth, so I mean that's that's better than being in sixth. Okay, cool. Just in case you didn't know how numbers worked. Or just in case you didn't know how racing worked. Okay, there. Third place, but now I need fuel. Oh my god, do I ever need fuel right now. Please give me some some fuel tanks. I would like or gas canisters. Yeah, I see it. I see that. Wait, are 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 the fuel tanks the only like, the only fuel tanks in this entire map, like, on this corner right here that we're coming up to? Wait, where are they? Uh, these ones right here? Okay, well, at least I grabbed them, but... Are those, like, the only ones in the entire track? Also, is this guy... This guy's third place. Okay. This is in second. Okay, well, this is gonna be fine if I... If I'm able to actually beat the race with the amount of gas that I have. That's fine. It doesn't- it doesn't really even matter if I get- if I get first at this point, but it would be nice. It would be a nice little bonus. Doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Okay, well, either way... <laughs> okay, that- that definitely terrified me. Yeah, because there's not that many gas canisters that you get in this- this track, it seems. We did get the upgrade, though. Differentials, gearbox, or nitro? Nitro in steering? Acceleration in nitro. Uh... I don't know, do we want more acceleration in steering just for now? Well, actually, yeah, none of these are going to increase the speed, but acceleration could be good and more steering. Yeah, you know what? Maybe get differentials for now. It does seem like we'll be able to unlock the other upgrades at some other point, perhaps? I don't really know, but we, d we did finish it at least. We're already at 14% completion for Jilly. Okay, what is this? Arid? Okay, these, these are like three more tracks. Okay... Okay, well, you know what I think I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna hit the brakes momentarily here. No pun intended. Uh, I would kind of like to test out this Rookie Series thing right here, just to see what this is all about. San Francisco? Okay, that's just locked. Okay, well, wait, what is this? Okay, we have all the tracks that... Or, or we have all the cars, I should say, that we've already unlocked in World Tour. Okay, so I'm just- I'm just curious, what is one of those- what does one of these rookie races look like? Or what do one of these rookie races look like? I'm assuming this is probably just like an- like- like an easy mode, essentially, right? Perhaps? Yeah, because we only have 10- 10 drivers this time around in two laps. 
Yeah, so I'm assuming that this is just like, just like an easy mode. Like, just in case, you know, you never played a game like this before and you just want to get used to the gameplay or, like, the controls. Or, like, the feel for the game. I'm assuming. I don't really know, but it seems like... Seems like we're kind of just going through the same tracks again, though. This is San Francisco. We're back here in San Francisco. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like there's, uh... Doesn't seem like there's that much of a difference here. I guess this is just, like, the easy mode of the game, essentially. Oh yeah, I also noticed that you don't have a fuel gauge anymore, so you don't even need to worry about your fuel running out at any point. Yeah, so this this must be, like, an easy mode of some sort. You know, just, just in case you've never... You never played a game of this kind before, or you never played a racing game like this. I guess this is the game mode that you, that you start with before you go to World Tour. But, I mean, I have played arcade racers like this in the past, so... I don't really need this, honestly. Yeah, and it doesn't even seem like there's there's any tokens for you to grab either. Yeah, and then there's there's also Los Angeles, which I'm, I'm assuming is just the same track as before. You know, I will say that this game's graphics do also kind of remind me of Polybridge in a way, because Polybridge also has like a very similar art style to this, where I believe it is mostly just flat shaded polygons. Yeah, this is one of the tracks that we've already played, though. Yeah, the graphics in this game do also kind of remind me of Polybridge in a way, but I do believe Polybridge's graphics were also inspired by, like, you know, old old school arcades, for, arcade games from the early 90s. Maybe not racers necessarily, because Polybridge is not a racing game, it's literally a game where you're constructing bridges. But it does have a somewhat similar art style to this, so... I, I have played other indie games in the past that have, like, very similar, uh... Like, they, they have a very similar art direction to this particular game right here. It does kind of seem like this is a... I don't know. I don't know if I would necessarily say, like, a relatively popular style of art direction for indie developers in particular, but... I don't know. It's an, it's an art direction that I definitely, uh, like, for sure. It definitely appeals to me personally. You know, just doing a, a whole lot with little. Or, like, doing doing more with less, essentially. And I really do like it. It has a sense of style, for sure. It, it does feel like the game has its own unique personality, despite the fact that it's obviously inspired by games like OutRun and Daytona USA and Virtua Racing. Okay, well, I guess that's it. We're just going to Chile immediately? I guess so. Yeah, new cup unlock Chile. Okay, well, which ones do we have to play in Chile? Yeah, Atacama and whatever the heck else this other one is. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't have Summer Vibes, so... How about we just, uh, face off against other cards in tournaments with four races? Amateur tournament? Yeah, okay, I, I don't feel like messing around with that. Okay, well then, what is what is Playground? A selection of limited time races with all sorts of game-changing twists? Ooh, okay. I'd like to see what this is. Holidays are here with a special treat. Uh, what exactly is this? Chasing Santa again? Wait, what's the other stuff here? Bring the turkey, delivering packages, supper with grandma, and freaking Santa. Also, how how the frick do you pronounce the name of this of this track? It just looks like gibberish, dude. I mean, I know it's obviously in a different language, but like, uh, yokel, ayaf yokel. I oh god. <laughs> To all the people who live in whichever country this track originates from, I apologize profusely. You know what? It's winter, so I feel like it's only appropriate that I play at least one track that has, like, a winter theme. Ooh, deja vu! Oh my god, it's literally a... <laughs> oh, I can already hear the song in my head, guys. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. What else do we have here? Ooh, Janice Flower Power? That looks really cool. Gentlemen, Francois, what in the name of the god above is this? <laughs> okay, this is- I don't know what this is a reference to, by the way. It has to be a reference to something. Frick it, deja vu. Let's go. Playground upgrades installed. I don't know what the upgrades are exactly, but I, I want to try this out. I want to try out at least one, like, playground race here. Oh, he's actually using the Janus bus, apparently. Okay, he's chasing Santa again. Okay, so what the what in the world is this then? Oh god, he's fast. He's fast as frick. Okay, well let's let's do a massive drift. There we go. Multi-lane drifting or multi-track drifting. I think that's I think that's the quote. I believe. 
Okay. There we go. Nice, uh, Christmas-themed, uh, nice Christmas-themed track right here. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to use some freaking boost in order to stay ahead of this dude. Okay, well, that's... You know, it, it would be best to, like, keep your eyes on the road at the same time. That would also be a, a good idea. Not crash into, like, arrows. Yeah, use the arrows for guidance. Don't use them as, uh... Don't, don't take your anger out on them, because they're, they're indestructible. Okay, they're they're already they're already prepared for for a counter attack. Okay, they'll they'll just parry all your attacks. Not 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 a good not a good thing. Not a good idea. Oh, it does seem like there's additional. Uh, it it does seem like there's an additional nitruses that I can also grab as well. Okay, yeah, it seems like this is a track where you just have to outrun Santa basically. So I mean, it doesn't seem like there's anything else to it besides that. Oh my actual goodness! Come on here! Come on here! Oh God! Okay, yeah, I need to try and like slow down when I go into those turns, because they're too tight. Those turns are way too tight to take at full speed, so that's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work out. There we go. I'm also noticing that I am running out of fuel as well, sort of. Where Where is Santa on the, on the map? Actually, I'm getting pretty far ahead of him, I just noticed. Okay, hang on. Stay in center lane. Okay, go. Go. I need to get some distance. There we go. Put some distance between me and freaking Santa. Let's go. Oh god, okay, there's not a lot of distance. Maybe I should stop breaking as well, just for now, because, yeah, that's not working out in my favor. Okay, just break slightly here. I think I'm still somewhat ahead of him. Okay, use the nitrous. Go, 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 go. Yeah, my fuel's low. That's not gonna matter. We did it. We outran Santa. Very nice. 13 out of 20, 113, 113 out of 20. That's good math. That's some quick math right there. Everyday math's on the block. Okay, very good then. We actually, we actually made it. All right. Yeah, so it seems like, uh... Okay, I guess I didn't get anything special from that. Oh, I need 590 to get whatever this is. Okay, well... I don't think I'm going to bother with any of these for now. I do believe... I'm not even going to bother with the tournaments, because I'm not really interested in those either. I think what I'm going to do is that I'm actually just going to end the video here now, I think. Yeah, I do believe this is where I'm going to leave things for now, guys, because I don't really have that much else to say about this particular game. I, I've i seen pretty much everything that I've wanted to see here. Uh, I also noticed that Endurance Mode is actually still locked. Beat World Tour or win all Master Tournaments to unlock Endurance. Okay, well, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna do that right now. That's gonna take way too long. Yeah, so I don't think there's really anything else that I would like to see here. I mean, I could show you guys the title screen just to show you what this looks like. There we go, there's the title screen. Yeah, maybe I'll try to end the video on this title screen here. So, yeah, that is, uh... That's Horizon Chase Turbo. <laughs> Very fast-paced arcade-style racing game. Uh, definitely the kind of racing game that I prefer, for absolute sure. I can definitely see, like, the, uh the outrun inspirations in this particular game, definitely. It does seem like there is a fair amount of content in this game, though, because you have a bunch of different game modes, and it, it does seem like there's a whole variety of levels to complete in the World Tour. And I guess the Rookie Tour is basically just, like, an easier version of the World Tour. So I guess in some ways there is, like, difficulty options in this game, but they're in the form of different types of tours, or like a different version of the World Tour. Yeah, I guess if you're not used to playing like super fast racing games like this, then it probably would be better if you just go and play the Rookie Tour first, and then you can try your hands at the World Tour, but I've played racing games like this in the past, so I don't really need it. I don't. But I do at least like the fact that you have the option to play like an easier version of it, just in case you're not used to, uh, you know, if the game is a little too, uh, breakneck for you, if the game's pacing's a little too breakneck. But other than that, I enjoyed that quite a bit. It's a really fast-paced arcade racer. The tracks themselves are fairly simple, I feel, but the actual environments surrounding the tracks are surprisingly well-detailed. I really do like the fact that it uses 2D backgrounds, but the environments themselves are all in 3D. I really do like that contrast, actually. Once again, it does kind of feel like the old-school arcade racers from the early 90s, because I think, I think even in Virtua Racing, a lot of the backgrounds in Virtua Racing were composed of, like, 2D pixels, despite the fact that the environments themselves were in 3D. So really keeping true to that early 90s aesthetic for absolute sure, 
It doesn't really seem like they're made out of pixels now that I look at them now, uh, like the environments I mean. It does kind of seem like they're a bit more detailed than that, but even so. Yeah, I'm just really digging this game's aesthetic. I love these kinds of games that just use flat shaded polygons and, and like gradient colors instead of, instead of like texturing everything. Like I said, it's doing a lot more with a lot less, and there's something about that that I greatly appreciate. It's simple, but effective. That's essentially what I'm trying to say about the game's art style. So yeah, I enjoyed that quite a bit, and I feel very lucky that I was able to get this game for free through, uh, a, a limited time offer on the Epic Game Store. Of course, the game's not free anymore. I, it does cost $20, but I do believe it is on sale right now. If you want to go and purchase this game, links are in the description if you want to buy the game on either Steam or the Epic Game Store. I don't know if this game was ported to consoles, I think it was, but as for which consoles it was ported to, I don't remember. But uh, I will try to find links to the console ports of this game and provide them in the description as well. I'm gonna go and find them uh, once I'm done recording this video. And I mean, I pretty much am done recording this video now, so that that's it. The, the video's over. You can go do something more productive with your life now, which I will also be doing myself. So, with that being said, thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!